nerds. Welcome to my very first uh, team builder for this uh, NSTL. Uh, I once again apologize for my voice. It's been shot for the past few days, but hopefully by the time that this uh, this video actually gets uploaded, I'll be all better. Uh, doing this a bit early, just before my um, battle starts, because you know, doing the team builder right before battle, I believe, is a good thing to do. Gets me, uh, reminds me why I'm doing this team. Um, so. Hopefully you've watched my team analysis and understand like what exactly I have on my team and this is like a breakdown of why I'm bringing these particular Pokemon against my opponent. I'm going up against uh, the Sydney Swana that's coached by um, Plebeian or Gem or whomever. Um, link will of course be in the description and hopefully you'll see my opponent's team on the, the screen. I'll edit that in. Um, pretty spooky team. I'm mostly scared of that Mega Law Pony and that Haunch Crow there, but I'm gonna go into everything in detail here uh, real quick. Anyway, so I'm gonna start off with uh, Cofagrigus. It's like an obvious, um, <clears throat> obvious thing to bring against Mega Law Pony. I can switch into any hit, uh, live with my max defense. It's got Rocky Helmet, so Mega Law Pony is gonna be, you know, taking some damage, and then it can't hit me back at all because with the dual stab I get rid of um I'm immune to the dual stab after it receives the mummy ability and no longer has scrappy but I've got um call mine pain split psychic and shadow ball it hits just about everything on her team and I'm guaranteed to get a little bit of setup after the law punny uh, switches out I've got a pretty low HP stat um so pain split does a pretty good job in this scenario and yeah, I'm uh, excited to bring Cofagrigus uh, week one since it's such a great check to make a lot of money. So I've got Tapu Yolo. Um, so I'm bringing kind of a meme set here. I've got the Koba Berry, and I've got Horns, Leech, Rock Slide, Nature's Madness, and Zen Headbutt. Basically, this set is designed to just like take a bunch of hits and hit really hard back. And the exact spread that I have is to pending rock slide missing or not to 1v1 haunch crow in a pinch because like i said if uh if it's like a moxie scarf haunch crow that will sweep my entire team or even more scary it would be a what is it nasty plot haunch crow so i can live a braid burr at after the recoil um i can kill with rock slide and after the recoil and um rocks if i get rocks up um uh, I, I think Rock Slide is guaranteed to kill after Rocks, and I actually outpace Haunt, um, Unboosted Haunch Crow by one point of speed, so that's nice because, yeah, it is slow, but 75 pace speed's not the worst in the world, and then I just dumped as much as I could into HP here. Um, Horn and Leech is great stabs, and Headbutt is a great move, and <clears throat> yeah. So I've got King Kitan, um, another offensive check to Haunch Crow. I always outspeed and kill with Thunderbolt. Uh, HP Ice, I... Um, you know, good to have Volt Switch for initiative. And actually, I have Quick Attack because I speed tie with a Law Punny, and I'm guaranteed to, you know, out prior, out, uh, out speed it, get some damage off in a pinch if it's got, like, you know, last string of HP and it comes down to a speed tie. I don't want it to come down to a speed tie. So, Mega Manectric is pretty uh, straightforward here. Then I've got British Airways, my Choice Scarf Latias. Um, Levitate ability, of course. Um, Psychic, Draco Meteor, Thunderbolt, that basically hits everything on her team. And then Trick if I need to, uh, just because I don't really need any other move. Um, this outspeeds uh, just about everything, I believe. Um, anything, or I think it's like if something's outpacing my um, Mega Manectric by one point of speed, so that's 205 times 1.5, that's like 300. Two. 307 and then 170 times 1.2 is um, or no 205 it's gonna be 206 and then 170 times that's plus 135 no I actually think I want one or two more points I'm glad I got that so just in case anything's outpacing my manectric I've got that um, so that pretty straightforward set it can do a lot of damage this game uh, especially that scarf sidekick does a lot and then um, yeah, 
Mr. Fish, the Gyarados with the Flying MZ. This is potentially my win con this game. I've got Dragon Dance, Crunch, Waterfall, and Bounce, which of course is going to be uh, turned into that Super Sonic Sky Strike. Uh, after Dragon Dance, I kill, I outspeed a lot of things and um, max attack, of course. With between a lot of switches, I'm going to be forcing with um, uh, Cofagrigus and a lot of initiative. I'm going to be getting with Manectric and the intimidate factor I'm gonna get a lot of free chances to set up with Gyarados and yeah between crunch waterfall and the um, my flying Z move it's going to be doing a lot of damage and like I said this is potentially my win con this game and lastly I have Miami sucks because Miami sucks and he trans pretty cool this is my um, my rocker this game also potentially um, gonna get some roar just in case you know it's like a moxie hodge grow or uh any for other setup uh flash cannon and earth power are there just so i'm not gonna be passive um i believe per team has the uh it's like floor just is why i've got the heat train or flash cannon here and just a pretty i didn't need to go crazy with the evs here i just went straight for um bulk and <coughs> special attack and yeah, um, I'm not too crazy about this set, but I just needed some reliable rockers that's not incredibly passive, and Roar is going to be a great tech this game. So I'm really excited to hopefully sweep with Mega Gyarados um, for some switches with Kofag, and you know even with the Calm Mind, I could be picking up a couple kills. Uh, Volt switch around with uh, Manectric, um, maybe even crippling something with Latios would be fun, but only if it comes to a point where it no longer need my scarf or having something with the scarf will be more valuable for me long run and hopefully this uh, Bulu set works against Honchkro because like I said I'm more scared of that than anything on the team right now and yeah so here's uh, my week one team um, cool if you're seeing this the battle has already happened I'm recording this right before the battle happens and it gets uploaded a day before our battle so I'm gonna be going straight into that after all uh thanks so much for watching subscribe for more uh league content and like the video if you liked it otherwise yeah um cool i'll see you in the next one guys thank you